Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about True Car and whether or not True Car is actually legit, if it'll actually save you money as a consumer. Before we get into the video, though, as always, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. To properly explain this, we got to talk about how TrueCar actually makes money. One of the ways that TrueCar makes money is via sponsored posts. So what this is, is dealerships or private parties can pay TrueCar a fee to make it so that their vehicle pops up first in search results. Google does the same thing with businesses. That's why Google makes a hundred billion dollars a year. And that's why TrueCar makes whatever it makes per year is again, Sponsored posts. So uh, how this works is you could have it so that if people look up, you know, let's say you're selling a Grand Cherokee. If people look up a Grand Cherokee, then your Grand Cherokee will show up first. You got to pay more to be higher up on the search results, right? Or you could do it via like a certain zip code area. And so like a lot of dealerships will do this where they'll pay True Car to make it so that their vehicles pop up first whenever people are searching for cars within a certain zip code area. So again, that's one of the ways that True Car makes money. Another way that True Car makes money is working directly with dealerships to have those dealerships cars posted on their website, not via sponsored posts, but basically just have their inventory posted on True Car's website. So this is like a monthly package deal and it's big business for True Car. I don't know what the going rates are in today's market, but I can tell you that when I sold cars, it was very expensive. It was like five or $10,000 a month to be a dealer in True Car's network, which is, yeah, like I said, extremely expensive. And what this basically does is it means that when people search for cars on True Car's website, that these dealerships that are paying True Car this monthly fee will have their cars on their website, whether they are new or used. So again, that's another way that True Car makes money. Now, why does this apply to whether or not True Car can actually get you a good deal on a car? The reason this applies is you guys can see that dealerships and private parties are paying big money to have their vehicles posted on True Car, and especially if it's via a sponsored post. Which means if they're spending all this money to have their cars posted on the website, they're not gonna be able to discount the vehicle as much because they're spending more money into the car. And I can tell you someone that worked at a dealership that had True Car system, I experienced this firsthand with so many different transactions and it's just absolutely crazy. So here is what actually happens in reality. I'll actually, I'll, I'll give you guys like the, you know, quote unquote fairy tale that you think is happening and I'll tell you reality. So what you guys think is happening with True Car System is you look up vehicles on their website and you get this like special low price that you wouldn't be able to get normally because you're getting True Cars again, special pricing offer on these vehicles. And this is excluding any sort of like military discounts or anything like that because True Car does have some stuff for that. And I'll talk about that later in the video. This is just, you know, Joe Schmo going and buying a car off of True Car's website and getting their low upfront pricing. Well, in reality, that price that you're getting is a price that the dealership has chosen on the car. This isn't a True Car price. This is the dealership's price. True Car does not determine the pricing on the vehicles on their website. The dealers and the private parties determine what the pricing is. So whatever the dealership wants to charge for that car, they can charge through True Car's system. So when you submit this lead with True Car's system, what you're doing is you're basically just submitting a lead over to that dealership to buy the car at whatever that dealership wants to sell you the car at. So what this looked like practically when I worked at a dealership is that people would get sent over prices that were exactly the same as what we already had them posted for online. And sometimes they were actually higher because again, dealerships have to pay a fee to True Car. And so they have to cover their costs somehow. And that cost covering gets transferred over to the customer. And this was really apparent on certain new vehicles because we had these new vehicles posted on our website for ridiculously low prices that were at prices where the dealership was essentially losing money to sell the car. Now they were ultimately making money because, you know, typically people would finance and you'd also get a kickback from the manufacturer. So like, you know, overall it's a net positive. So it made sense back in the day to do that. Whereas in today's market, it's like you always have to make money on every single vehicle. Things have changed quite a bit. But the point that I'm trying to make is the pricing would then have to slightly get raised for 
true car people because it wouldn't make sense to sell them the vehicle at that price and then also pay the fee over to true car and also with true cars system with certain manufacturers the you know guaranteed whatever it is whether it's like one percent below invoice or whether it's invoice on a vehicle that true car guarantees you isn't necessarily the best deal with every single manufacturer because some manufacturers have deals where after dealer discount and rebates you're way below that 1% under invoice or 1% under MSRP or whatever it is with that specific manufacturer. And so ultimately what this means is that True Car doesn't really get you a better deal compared to what you could get yourself with online shopping with dealers currently. Seriously, try it. Go put in a vehicle that's at a dealership right now in True Car system and see what the pricing is. And then just go look at that dealership's website and what you'll probably find is that the pricing will be the same or potentially less on the dealership's website. And so it's kind of like this almost blind trust thing with people where they're doing the true car system because like they have been sold on this idea that it's again, getting them a better deal. Now that isn't the full picture because there are certain military programs that True Car has basically paired up with, which do give people real military rebates on vehicles. And so it actually can be a really good system for that group of people. But what I would do if you are in that group of people is still look at the dealership's price on that vehicle online and then also just see if that manufacturer has military rebates and then just apply those rebates to the dealership's price on their website and boom, you know what price you're getting. And again, still you could throw your lead in through true car system and see if the price is better than what you're getting. But what you're probably gonna find is again, the price is gonna be the same or potentially more. And so here's what I have to say is practical advice. Don't just avoid true car. I think it's a great place to search for cars and I think it's a great place to at least see where pricing could potentially be on vehicles. But what you need to do as a consumer is not only check the true car price, but just go check that dealership's price, right? You know where the car is because you ultimately have to go to that dealership to buy it. And so it's just a quick Google search of that dealership and that car and look at it up, look up that car on their website and boom, you can see what the uh, true price is. Uh, see what I did there? with that one. Um, but that is basically gonna sum things up for today's video and hopefully that helps you guys out and I hope that this doesn't come across as me just completely bashing on True Car and saying that it's a worthless system because I do see the utility in True Car's system, especially for certain groups of people and again, as like a price track check system, but I don't think that their system should just be blindly trusted and this is something that I saw as someone who worked at a dealership is I would get these True Car leads in and I'd send people over their True Car price and then they just come in and buy the vehicle and like, with how that system works with someone working in a dealership is you can't tell that person that the true car price isn't as good as what they could get because what would then happen is it would just become this massive mess and well, you'd also get in quite a bit of trouble for saying that. I can say this now because well, I don't work at a dealership anymore and make these YouTube videos, but it just would lead to a situation where that person would not only not buy that car from you, but yeah, like I said, you'd get in quite a bit of trouble overall, but it, it's, it was one of those things where I was kind of like, again, frustrated when I was working at the dealership because I was like, this person literally could have gotten a better deal on this car if they would just do it through our website and not through TrueCar. So yeah, I'll see you guys.